Hey everyone, a little bit of a different style of video today, but it's going to be super simple, quick, and straight to the point. If you are using the Academy of Mind LMS and you want to upload videos into your courses, then this is the video where I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a couple ways you can upload videos, either directly or using a third-party provider like Vimeo or YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do all those things right now. So inside of the Academy of Mind LMS, after you log into the admin dashboard, you're going to want to come over to courses, right? Because we're uploading a video. So under courses, you just click on videos. Once you're in here, you want to click create video module. Now let's just call this test video module for YouTube. Now there's a couple of different ways you can upload videos into our system direct upload, uh, and then you can also use Vimeo or YouTube with a URL. So let's, let's show both ways. First, we're going to do a direct upload. Now you can either upload the media here, or you can upload the media from your media library, which you can find over here. But if you're inside of the video module tab, like we are right now, let's go browse media. If you needed to upload an MP4 directly and you didn't have anything already in your library, you would just click Upload Media, find it on your computer, and then boom. Um, and actually, well, I have a video, but I want to go with one of these. Um, so let's just click Choose, and now we have that uploaded. Now you can enter your subtitles. If you want to use subtitles, check the video on the screen, and I'll also put it in the description to learn how to use subtitles in the Academy of Mind LMS. And next we have a cover image, the same way you would upload. Let's just pick a JPEG because that's a cover, that's a picture. Let's do a description. Hello, this is a short description. Okay, you have a couple options, track completion. This makes sure that when your learners complete the video and you're going in there as an instructor and admin to report on training, you'll be able to see that they completed videos. If you don't have this on, then you're not going to track completion. So let's leave that on and disable forward seeking. Uh, if turned on this, this makes sure that learners cannot skip forward. So if the video is 10 seconds and they physically have to watch the whole 10 seconds, right? If it's 10 minutes, it's the same thing. And theoretically they could cheat by leaving the room and not watching the video. But at the very least, this ensures that they're not able to skip forward in training which may be a requirement for compliance uh, reasons. We're not gonna do anything with categories right now. Let's click save module. And just so we don't even actually have to put this video inside of a course, uh, inside of the curriculum to test it out because that takes a little more time. You can just click preview. I'm, gonna, I'm on a window, so I'm gonna click control preview so it opens in a new tab. You can see obviously the thumbnail wasn't a proper size thumbnail, uh, the cover image. So you only see part of this pineapple, which is the picture I used. That you can see the description and you see the title. And if you click play, it works. Um, and I'll just move this, this video right here. And you can full screen. Um, if you had subtitles, that's where these would be. And as you see, you can't skip forward because I have disable forward seeking on. Uh, click play. There's your volume knob. It's similar to uh, like a YouTube or Vimeo browser, even though it is direct upload. So let's go back here. Let's go back here and let me show you the, uh, the last method. This is through YouTube. What you're, wanting to go, what you're going to want to do is go to your YouTube channel or find someone else's YouTube video. Click on the video and then you want to click the share link and you just copy right here. And then all you have to do is paste over here. If you're unsure, you can see the example of the URL. And the reason I use the share link is because that's the proper format. If you just go like this and try to copy the URL from the top of your browser, it's not going to work. So share link and copy over here, paste that in here. We're going to leave the description the same and everything else the same and then update module. And Vimeo is the exact same way. So it's, it's either you upload it directly or through one of the video providers like YouTube or Vimeo. But after you test that out, um, you know, there you go. You have the YouTube video. Let's mute it so you don't hear me twice. And as you can see, I turned off um, disable forward seeking so you can skip across the whole thing. And um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. If you wanted to attach the video 
Um, I have other videos that go in depth on this, but you would just go to courses after updating your module. Let's just pick a course that there are students enrolled in, and this is attached to a product. And sorry, you would go from courses and you choose your course that you want to add this to. And let's pick this one. Let's go to edit. Let's go to step two curriculum. Let's go to add module, test, video. For YouTube, I, it's this one, it's this one. And we're just gonna drag it all the way to the top of the course. Like this. And there you go. We're gonna click update course. and then view as student and i believe it was this course yep there's the test video so you're starting the course you're a student and you watch the video and it's tracking right here so when the admin or instructors reporting on this they'll be able to see how much time was spent on there um and if you didn't have disable forward seeking on like we don't have you could go like this and, you know, they would finish the video and it would say module completed and I could go to the next module, but the admin would also be able to see if they wanted to do like a trust sort of thing. The admin would say you completed that video, um, but you only spent 30 seconds on it, right? That might be some insights as to why you're not doing well on the quizzes and assignments. So anyways, that's how to upload videos in the Academy of Mind LMS. If you want me to cover any other videos, drop those in the, in the comments. But before you do that, definitely check out the rest of our YouTube because I have a large extension, a large library of how-to videos. Um, I just did one on how to integrate with Zoom. I've done one on how to basically create every single type of content using our authoring tool. I have ones on reporting. I have ones on customizing different pages, different menus, white labeling groups, you name it, everything in Academy of Mind, all the way to more e-learning and training videos about just general benefits of using LMS, this, this, and that. So thanks so much for your support. And if you are considering using our LMS, definitely reach out to us at academyofmind.com. Uh, and we'd love to speak with you on a call. All right. See ya.